Last month, we told you about Palm Lake Christian Church that wants to build affordable housing for the disabled on its large property. That's when we spoke to church board member chair Andrea Kate. And we researched and looked around and we saw that affordable housing for low income seniors and for people with disabling conditions was a big need in our community. But neighbors say there's been a lot of confusion about who exactly will be living in the 86 units that are being proposed in their quiet, distant heights St. Pete neighborhood. When I heard disabled, I thought, what kind of disabilities? Because people with disabilities need services. Mafe Rahul lives next to the church, and she and her neighbors are very concerned with the church's plans. And I started digging and digging and learned that this is specifically for people with disabling conditions as defined by statute. Somebody with a disabling condition, not disabled, disabling condition is somebody that has a substance abuse problem or a serious mental health problem or developmental disability. Kate was not available to talk for this story, but pointed us to this video that says the housing will be for people with physical disabilities. And so we have specifically chosen physical disabilities as opposed to mental disabilities. But we double checked what's been filed with the city and that language wasn't made explicit, causing a lot of concern in the tight knit community that is next door to a school. That's the safety and security is really what people are worried about. And just, you know, when you come home in the stressful life and world, you want to come home knowing that you're in your safe neighborhood to, to do this without uh, really coming out and letting the neighborhood know exactly what they're trying to do. Neighbors are very upset and have gotten more than 750 signatures on petitions saying they do not want this plan to pass. The proposed plan will be presented in front of St. Pete City Council on Thursday at 5 p.m. In St. Pete, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.